All right, so yeah, that's a long chain of a quest that you'll need to continue with Kurt. We'll talk to. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rayner didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rayner assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? Nope. That's it. No. Thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. What's this we should also go check the yelling at in front of us. Men What's on leave dancing? will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Alright, best option is to run over to the tavern and talk to somebody inside the tavern. It'll get you the quickest result. Chat this guy up. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lord. De Sarde, legate of the congregation on Tier D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah. Yes, sir. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? And then, uh, ask him to tell a story. Every time you interact with one of these guys, you gotta ask them a couple questions before it gives you the option to ask them what you really want to ask them. You don't quite look like you've We're got all the about hang small of this. talk here. How long have you been in? I. Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago, but at the beginning we were on board ship. You see, I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene, but I'm making progress. They say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard. To come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that... I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but a this little is peer his excellent bone bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rayner? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And good. And then, poof. Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. All right, so you're not really failing those parts of the quest. You just kind of took a shortcut. And you can now talk to the soldier, the, the 11th, uh, or the guy from the 11th, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, we are going to try to 
take a bit of a shortcut through this. When you do talk to the uh, Lieutenant of the 11th, he will only give you so much information during the day. And at night, he says that he will give you some additional information, and that's the best time to talk to him. So, let's see if we can't advance the time of day to nighttime, and then go chat him up. See how this works. I haven't tried this before. He may tell us to come back still. But it's worth it's definitely worth a shot. I think we may have taken a wrong turn in Albuquerque. Oh no, we're good. Uh -oh. Oh, hey. Um Techniques, firearms. Oh, he just got smoked. Oh. Don't be kicking, Kurt. All magic your ass. Come on, let's get rid of that armor. There we go. No magic Drink a potion. Get him. Oh yeah, this is working out good. Uh oh. Gotta watch out for the sign, the wheelbarrow. We'll go upstairs, I think. Let's check. Uh, no. Not upstairs. Alright, before we open this, we're gonna put our normal gear back on. Our chest with the uh, loot chance increase. Where's that at? This is it. The doublet of good fortune. And we'll... Pull three Warren Guard doublets out of that. Lock picking level one, which we already have. Loot. The three guard doublets are always there, if I recall correctly. And here's our dude in here by himself at night, so I think he'll talk to us. Hello, officer. Excellency. Can I do something for you? Uh, actually, I don't... Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. No, if you have to convince him to talk to you or not, so we're going to go ahead and save. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Uh, so you gotta go through the small talk with him. Could you tell me which company Butter him up a, a bit. The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? I need to talk to you about the roaster. We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Reyna. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Reyna belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you have a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes. Of course. Rayner was indeed a member of my company. And an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rayner wasn't the only man to have... disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence 
of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixths might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixths if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Anything else? <laughs> leave me alone now. But well, wait a second. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixths if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know. It's, uh... It... I can't complain too much. It, it, as I said it, early on, it's not a triple-A game, so I don't know how much time and money was spent on doing, like, QA stuff, and... Some of the translations are a little off. Some of the, you know, subtitles are a little off. It's just... But again, like, the game is... The story is so good in the game that it's hard to fault them too much on some of that stuff. With it just being like a, uh... A game from a smaller company. Trust me, if it was like a CD Projekt Red game and it was like that, I would be, like, railing that type of nonsense, but it's not, so, it's, as I said, it's, it's hard to jump up and down on them for stuff like that. This is where we need to go. We'll go ahead and save before we go in here. This may be another charisma check. Alright, now that we saved, we'll come inside, chat up the lieutenant. Good day, lieutenant. What's your pleasure? Yes, more, obviously, more small talk. What company? The Sixth Fix. Anything else? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, Congregation, directives and standing orders. We are Anything else? And now you can actually ask him about the Ghost Regiment. Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? About what? Uh, uh, I have uh, no idea what you're talking what? about, Your Excellency. Look over there. Uh, you got a couple options here. Trying to convince him and bribing him get you the same result. Allowing to Kurt to speak will get you negative one coin guard reputation. Uh, again, this is why we saved your game before we came in here. Come now, Lieutenant. You do realize that the activities of this regiment are particularly suspicious. Secrets, threats, fabrications, and maybe even an assassination. This resembles more the pursuits of a criminal organization than the Honorable Coin Guard. Am I to conclude that you are involved? No. No. I assure you that isn't the case. So then tell me what you know about the regiment. I've seen the regiment even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems, and our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. <laughs> I hope you realize the risk I'm taking, talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack, a lightning strike, on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rayner isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rainer. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. 
But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me. All right, and that is effectively going to wrap up this portion of that quest. It's going to tell you that you need to progress the main story quest a little bit further before Kurt will be available to continue this quest with you. Before we go out of here, we're going to head down here and uh, do a little bit of looting. Don't mind me as I, you know, randomly break into your chest and uh, steal your stuff. You know, it's fine. It's fine. You guys didn't want that stuff anyways. Let's be honest. You wanted me to take it. That's why you put it in the chest and locked it up like that, right? Right. All right. Let's go down here. I think we determined that there was no loot in here, right? I thought there were two chests in here for us to loot. Uh, perhaps there's something over here. Is this money? That is money. All right. There's a bedroom. Is there a chest here? Oh, there is. Oh, level three. We had level two. Throw on some armor and do it. Let's, uh, how about through here? You guys have a chest in here you want me to loot? Oh, you do. You do. Uh-oh, lockpicking level two. That's not good. We don't have, uh... We don't have Vasco with us. Curses. We need to put lockpicking on, uh... We need to put lockpicking on a, uh, on a chest. That's what we need to do. We need to grab one of these old guard doublets or whatever that we have in our inventory throw it on there. That will permanently solve this problem. Alright, where are we in relation to our... I think we need to go... Let's go south, head back to our house. Do that. We have vigor, can't we go across this? Yes, we can. So you would think agility would be what is required to get there, but nope. Vigor. Very strange. Alright, so Vasco wants our help. Perfectly fine. Desarde. I'd like to know more about my family. I need to know what became of them. Could you accompany me to see Lady Morange? Of course I can. I'm afraid that without you, she may refuse to give me any information. Don't be ridiculous. All right, Vasco. Come on, Vasco. Let's go Let's see go. Lady Lorene we need, Morange. We don't need Kurt anymore. What we do need to do is go to the workbench, and we need to go in here, and my good Lord have mercy on my soul. Uh, let's go into inventory and see what weighs what. The old embroidered doublets only weigh nine, so we're going to hold on to those. Use the workbench here. We will grab this, and we will try to put lockpicking on this. Why do we not have... What are we missing? Craft level one. We need to put our gloves on. Uh, where's our goldsmith gloves? There we go. Now we can do this. Wow, 
clock pouch. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, you know what? No. No, no, no. What we're going to do is put that on the sailor's coat. And we're going to do that because if we ever have to go, on, go into a not controlled area, it'd be nice to have the lock picking on that. And not have to steal something from another character. So we'll put our lock picking on there. We've got quite a bit of obsidian. That's kind of nice. Uh, what else? Ruby. Ruby. For vigor. Yes. Science requires a ruby and vigor requires a ruby. All right. Well, we've got our lock picking now. Let's... Uh, Stash some stuff in here. Oh, we have quite a bit of stuff. Uh, let's see. We can get rid of that. We'll hold on to that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Hold on to that. The sailor's coat we'll hold on to. We'll throw this in there. We'll throw that in there. We got science. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. At some point, we're going to need to sell this stuff, but uh, I'm not really in the mood to deal with that at the moment. The Magnificent Feather, we'll throw that in there, too. Uh, that should be the extent of things. We are back down to having 80 pounds, I would assume, of goods on us. Talk to Lady Lorange. Lady Morange. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course. So de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? You are quite right, madame. We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed, Bastien Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business, but that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful, but I seem to recall that since then the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcy's are not in trouble. Don't worry, madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business See, partner. See, I told you he was an idiot. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? Uh, I think we're good for right now. My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. All right. Out the door we go. And we will... I think we need to go to the palace to sort out the whole patent situation for the little vendor guy who's getting his goods taken every time he comes to the city just to try to do business. in here and I think that guy's office is right here yeah. and before you talk to him I think you have to make another check on charisma or something so go ahead and save your game now that we saved our game we'll go ahead and chat him up minister your excellency it is always an honor how may I serve you I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. 
We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. And if you'd like to slip me a few coins, I could speed it up, or we could just use our charisma on him and convince I'm him. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant to set up shop in our city. Indeed. I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. Indeed. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case... Here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy, the other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? In accordance with the blah blah blah. Goodbye, Thanks, good. Your Excellency. We're out of here. Appreciate your help. See you again. Probably won't, but it's all right. All right, we will head out of here and go talk to our new friend about. Uh, actually, what is? I'm seeing question marks on the mini map. Uh, upper levels. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, nothing we care about. Nothing we care about. Just nonsense. All right. Anyways, let's go talk to our new friend, and we shall give him his patent. I have no idea why they call it a patent, not a patent. And even if it was a patent, uh, that would still seem odd as well. Lots of odd language in the game. You came back. Something terrible happened. Of course it what did. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bud Irony came back, and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me, and they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please, bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. His pleading for his cousin makes me think that they were kissing cousins. Hmm? Maybe this is a island of West Virginianers. Hmm, maybe. Hmm, 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 no. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we need to go to the Coin Guard. Coin Guard. Yes. Yes. The Coin Guard Barracks. So any city that you're in, the Coin Guard Barracks and the Coin Tavern are always in the same building. So if you find one, you can always get to the other. Take our little shortcut here through the dark alley. Drop down here. This is the coin tavern entrance. The coin guard entrance is over here on this side. Down here. Talk to Manfred, because he's always on duty. Manfred, old boy. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him. But he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct if you want to set him free that's where you must go sorry again your excellency i should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protege and told the patrol is there anything else why is he our protege no, thank you very odd someone's mistranslating the game that's all i can think of all right, uh, let's head down here. I think we can cut through the hooker's quarters. No, 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 no. This is the jail. Yes, the jail should be here. We'll talk to Hello. him. Hello, what can I do for you? Hello. 
I'm looking for a prisoner. A native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there! Do you really think that we Whoa, would organize a proper trigger. trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival since apparently he's a hunter. A hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom, like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave Nope. You. Thanks for your help, or lack thereof. So we'll go in here, we'll take his goods back, and see that although it looks like there's lots of good stuff in the storeroom, there really is absolutely nothing in here that we can loot, so we'll just leave. And now we'll head over to the arena... And that is going to be through the, uh, the, the hooker's quarters, effectively. So if we, uh, go, no, no, that's the morgue. I think we go around here through this door. This should lead to, oh, look, girls. Yes, this is where we want to be. Uh, back. No, 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 no. Back through here. Yes, yes, yes. Right through here leads us to the basement of the coin tavern and over to the left. I think yes the left there it is that is the arena don't need to talk to him we'll go in this way all right now we'll talk to the arena master yeah I guess we'll talk to him and do this now so there is a uh, ah, it's there's a long explanation about stuff you can do here in the arena we'll talk about it a little bit later just effectively know that uh, there's more than just this quest down here in the arena that you can do and uh, that you'll be expected to do in the game, Good day, I guess. And welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. All right, we are going to ask to fight alongside the hunter prisoner. Uh, the first challenge is part of the quest I was talking about that you can do when you're down here. There's five challenges to do. And uh, if you do the hunter prisoner, I think you can screw up your um, progress in the challenges. I think he's going to mention something like that when we accept the fight with the hunter prisoner. I think. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? I'm sure. This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Well, oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, will it be? So I think that's what he was talking about when he said lose Justice your bonuses. Justice cannot wait. I'm ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. Tifradi, shall I begin? All right, let's uh, let the armor degradation start on that. Blow this guy up. Which hot key was the potion? I wish you could have your hot keys on the screen at all times. That'd be helpful. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll freeze him again. Kill him. Light this thing up. Uh, maybe we should shoot it. Oh no. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, no. ah, ah. Oh, god. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Oh, oh god. Okay, I have no health. I have no health. Dodge. Dodge, run away, run away. Bravely run away, so rob him. Drink a potion. Freeze him. Shoot him. Oh, ah. uh, uh, Hunter, attack him. Attack him. Okay, fine, I'll just shoot him for you. So much for being a hunter. 
What a show! You're not a hunter. You've got the affections of the crowd, and when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, on Almanawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is the Sade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him.